Lyrical Opera Theater proudly presents... Hi, welcome to another edition of Lyrical Logs. We have the pleasure of having Deb Sidaway, and is it okay if I call you Deb? Yes. Okay, Deb Sidaway uh, with us today. She's our new Opera Guild president. This is something that's brand new for Lyrical Opera Theatre. We keep trying to raise up the level of what we're doing, and we're thrilled that we have Deb with us now. So Deb, tell us about your new role with Lyrical Opera Theatre. Well, my newest role, of course, is as the Opera Guild president. So in that role, I am spending my time trying to figure out exactly what we can do as the Opera Guild for the community, for Lyrical Opera Theater, for our performers, in giving back, raising funds, everything we can do from that perspective. And so it's in its infancy. And mm -hmm. I look forward to any input anybody has to offer. If you've got ideas, if you've been a part of a guild, I would love to hear from you. You can reach out to me via the webpage on Lyrical Opera Theater. You'll find my contact information there. Mm -hmm. Please reach out, join us, become a member. It's inexpensive. I would love your volunteerism. Um, anything you can contribute, we look forward to it. And the support of the opera, what, what a guild can do for an opera is just invaluable. And we at Lyrical Opera Theater actually value volunteerism over everything else. So, yeah, that would be awesome to get like a huge opera guild happening. We have so many fun events that you can participate in and be behind the scenes with us. Yes, I mean, one of the things I'd like to see happen is to get some of the local high school and junior high school students involved in some of our productions, have them actually come in behind the scenes, watch a practice, actually help do some setup, some breakdown, mm -hmm. just get them involved from the ground level up so mm -hmm. they have an opportunity to experience that. Absolutely. All right, so tell, tell us what you most enjoy about performing with Lyrical Opera Theater. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it's all fun. It's exhausting. It's exhausting. Yes, it's, but it's, a, a kind it's of... yeah, it's it's a passion. Uh -huh. um, it's that happy exhausting. It's a happy exhaustion. Yeah. It's, it's being able to be somebody you're not. So uh -huh. you get to be this character and you become this character. So I wish she does so well, by the way. Deb is one of those creatives and, you know, to get to see her on stage is such a pleasure. She actually inspires a lot of the, the performers around her because her acting is so fine. Yeah, so just to be able to get out there and be somebody you're not. Uh -huh. um, and it shocks your family. I mean, they come and see you, it's like, wow, <laughs> didn't know that side of you existed. So uh -huh. it's kind of fun to let that other alter ego out uh -huh. and just experience life from a different perspective. Absolutely. Cool. All right, um, if you could say one thing about opera to get others to attend, participate, or contribute, what would that one thing be? Well, no matter what that is, whether it's that you're participating, actually being in the performance, or volunteering, uh -huh. or contributing financially, mm -hmm. whatever that is, mm -hmm. I guarantee that every dollar, every minute you spend will take you a breath away. It has that effect on you. Even if you don't understand the language that's being uh -huh. sung in, we have subtitles, so that's easy enough. Uh -huh. But it just takes your breath away. The passion just sinks in and you will walk away a different person. A different person, I agree yes. with that. And, and it is very, very satisfying. Like for me too, you know, like opera has such a high degree of skill that's required. So the learning, I, it just makes me happy to learn and to, to, to make progress. Also to know that we're, contributing to the community. We're making the whole community around us a better place. Yes. Yeah. Both like economically, people don't realize that we contribute to the community economically and to bring this kind of cultural to the community as well. Yeah, it opens a, a new world for people that haven't actually experienced that. I mean, we're raised um, usually not brought into the arts unless you're brought up in school from day one yep. um, in the opera arena you typically don't take the opportunity or get the opportunity to go there. So unless somebody helps you, um, inspires you to go, which I would beg you to do, uh, you don't get to and you lose out on that. It's something you'll never ever be able to capture again. I guarantee if you do it, it will change your life. I love it when we have patrons come up to us after the operas and say, 
like I've never been to an opera. I loved it. Please let me know when your next performances are. Yeah. I, I love to people change people's lives that way. Yeah, they, they all have this old image of what it is, uh -huh. and it's nothing like that. Right, when they come, they're almost always surprised. Yeah. Like, they, they think I'm not going to like opera or whatever. Yes. They come and they're, like, shocked that they love it so much. Yeah, it's a whole new world. A whole really, new a whole new appreciation. <laughs> Not quite opera, hey, but you get the idea. <laughs> Musical, of course, yes, exactly. anyway, well, Disney yes. movie, anyway. Yes, yes. Well, thank you, Deb, so thank much you. for joining yeah, us thank today. You so much. Thanks also, our viewers, yes. for uh, watching another edition of Lyrical Opera Theater's Lyrical Logs. Yes, we See love you. you. We love yeah. you. See you later.